Good evening. Welcome back to Wednesday Evening Vespers from First United Methodist Church of Ann Arbor. We will continue our exploration of the many blessings God has bestowed upon us, and more importantly, consider our response to these gifts. As always, we celebrate in song, the reading of scripture, and sharing of prayer to guide our journey. Let us remember that in all things, we are God's children, called to live abundantly, love generously, and give thanks to the Creator. Please join me in this call to worship. God, God loves, loves us. us. God, God cares, cares for us. God, God blesses, blesses us. God, God tends, tends to us. us. We are God's precious fruit and faithful seed. God, God hears us. God helps us. God, God trusts us. us. God, God tries us. us. Sometimes we are more faulty seed than precious fruit. But, but no, no matter, matter what, what, we are God's. God's. I'm going to live so God can use me, our opening song this evening. I'm going to live so God can use me anywhere, Lord, anytime. I'm going to live so God can use me anywhere, Lord, anytime. I'm going to work so God can use me anywhere, Lord, anytime. I'm going to work so God can use me anywhere, Lord, anytime. I'm going to pray so God can use me anywhere, Lord, anytime. I'm going to pray so God can use me anywhere, Lord, anytime. Please join me in Psalm 111 from Nan Merrill's Psalms for Praying, An Invitation to Wholeness. Praise the Beloved, O my soul. I will give thanks to you with my whole heart. To all who will listen, I will tell of your goodness. Wondrous is creation, great builder. I take pleasure in pondering your work. Full of honor and integrity are your teachings. Those who follow them will find new life. You lift the hearts of all who suffer. You come to them in their need. Your steadfast love is food for the soul, nourishment in times of fear. You are ever mindful of your covenant, a very presence to the weary and the afflicted. Your voice is truth to those with ears to hear. Your precepts are sure. Written on the hearts of your people, they are to be lived forever with faith-filled love and assurance. You bring new life to the world. Yes, life in abundance is your gift to us. Holy and glorious is your name. Reverence for you, O Holy One, is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all who practice it. Your spirit is endures forever. Our centering song is When We Are Living. When we are living, it is in Christ Jesus. And when we're dying, it is in the Lord, both in our living and in our dying, we belong to God, we 
belong to God. Through all our living, we our fruits must give. Good works of service are for offering. When we are given or when receiving, we belong to God. We belong to God. We belong to God. We belong to God. Genesis 24, verses 1 through 4 and 10 through 27 from the Common English Bible. As the days went by and Abraham became older, the Lord blessed Abraham in every way. Abraham said to the oldest servant in the household, who was in charge of everything he owned, put your hand under my thigh. By the Lord God of heaven and earth, give me your word that you won't choose a wife for my son from the Canaanite women among whom I live. Go to my land and my family and find a wife for my son Isaac there. The servant took ten of his master's camels and all of his master's best provisions, set out and traveled to Nahor City in Aram Naharim. He had the camels kneel down outside the city at the well in the evening when women came out to draw water. He said, Lord, God of my master Abraham, make something good happen for me today and be loyal to my master Abraham. I will stand here by the spring while the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. When I say to a young woman, hand me your water jar so I can drink, and she says to me, drink, and I will give your camels water too. May she be the one you've selected for your servant Isaac. In this way, I will know that you've been loyal to my master. Even before he finished speaking, Rebekah, daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, was coming out with a water jar on her shoulder. The young woman was very beautiful, old enough to be married, and hadn't known a man intimately. She went down to the spring, filled her water jar, and came back up. The servant ran to meet her and said, Give me a little sip of water from your jar. She said, Drink, sir. Then she quickly lowered the water jar with her hands and gave him some water to drink. When she finished giving him a drink, she said, I'll draw some water for your camels too, till they've had enough to drink. She emptied her water jar quickly into the watering trough, ran to the well again to draw water, and drew water for all of the camels. The man stood gazing at her, wondering silently if the Lord had made his trip successful or not. As soon as the camels had finished drinking, the man took out a gold ring, weighing a half shekel, and two gold bracelets for her arms, weighing ten shekels. He said, Please tell me whose daughter you are. Is there room in your father's house for us to spend the night? I'm the daughter of Bethuel, who is the son of Milcah and Nahor. She continued, We have plenty of straw and feed for the camels and a place to spend the night. The man bowed down and praised the Lord. Bless the Lord, God of my master Abraham, who hasn't given up his loyalty and his faithfulness to his master. The Lord has shown me the way to the household of my master's brother. Oh, to be like Rebecca and give freely and generously to a stranger. Or to be like Abraham's servant 
who gives thanks to God when the journey is successful. This is your time to reflect how your life can include more generosity and thanksgiving, whether you are the giver or the receiver. Let us pray together. Most merciful Holy One, we humbly thank you for all your gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for strength to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in creation and in human life. But above all, we thank you for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our time together is coming to a close. Let us rejoice in all that God has given us. Open our arms to share our blessings with those around us. In all things, give thanks to God. Now rest this evening and arise in the morning filled with the knowledge that we belong to God. We bless you, God of seed and harvest, and, and we, we bless, bless each, each other. other, that the beauty of this world and, and the, the love, love that created, created it might be expressed through our lives and, and be, be a blessing, blessing to others now and always. Amen. Amen. Tu mamina, tu mamina, tu mamina nikosiam. Send me, Lord, send me, Lord, send me, Lord, into the world. Tu mamina, 